Welcome to Textination. Joining us is Dr. Solomon Asefa, Vice President, IBM Research, Africa and Emerging Market Solutions. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Asefa. Thank you for having me on the show. Well, IBM is out with its annual Five in Five. For those who aren't familiar with it, tell us what that's all about. So every year, IBM features five technology predictions that will potentially change people's daily lives or solve complex global challenges over the next five years. And, you know, these predictions reflect the latest challenges that our leading scientists are tackling. And we've been making these predictions for the last 14 years. And this year, let's let's start at the top. What, what is number one on the list? I don't know if they're in order of importance <laughs> or, or if they're in any particular sure. order, but uh, go, let's go through the list. Yeah, they're not in any particular order, but just to give you a context, um, this year the focus is actually on accelerating the discovery of materials so that we can enable a sustainable future. And this is important because it's time to rethink how we create materials, consume and develop materials. And there's a unique opportunity to create materials that are more environmentally friendly across many industries as well, because we have technologies such as AI, quantum computers and massive amount of data that will uh, accelerate the discovery of uh, materials and also fundamentally change how we approach this problem. So with that, I mean, the first prediction that we have is materials for carbon capture and conversion in order to mitigate the climate change. The second one is on batteries and energy storage, which is important, especially as we develop more renewable energy. The third one is about materials that could make electronic devices more environmentally friendly. And the fourth one is about recreating fertilizers so that we can grow crops in a more sustainable manner to feed the surging population while also minimizing emissions. And the fifth one is materials for uh, better antivirals to combat uh, global disease outbreaks. Sounds like that last one uh, has some urgency to it right now. It does. It does, especially in the context of the current pandemic, right? If you look at discovery of uh, drugs uh, or vaccines, it usually takes over a decade and billions of dollars of investment, right? So the question here is, could we leverage AI or quantum computers to accelerate the discovery process? And we're very optimistic that it is possible to do that, uh, to discover new drugs or to repurpose drugs that already exist. That has been going on uh, during this pandemic as well, hasn't it? It has. It has. There are global partnerships in place to really leverage this, this technologies that are now mature enough uh, you know, to use. Tell us about the idea of capturing and transforming CO2 emissions to make usable energy. Is that, is that a, a real possibility here? Well, so it, just to put it in context, right? Um, human activity, economic activity has been leading to a lot of emissions of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases into the air, right? And as a result, we have global warming and climate change, and we see frequent uh, extreme events that are becoming more and more severe, such as wildfires and, you know, tornadoes and so forth, right? So if we want to mitigate the impact on climate change, we need to figure out how we are going to be able to capture uh, the carbon dioxide either from the air or at the source, the point source of emission. And we believe that new materials um, could be discovered to do this more efficiently. But it's more than just capturing them. It's about how do you also discover a new type of catalyst that could convert the carbon dioxide into something useful, some other materials that uh, people could use. That sounds like something doable to IBM? It is doable. There is a lot of research activity that's already happening across many research uh, centers in the world, as well as, you know, within our research facilities uh, across the globe. Tell us about the, the rethinking of batteries and, and energy storage. Uh, a lot of companies have been working on this, especially with the, the growth of electric cars and such, and the whole idea of uh, reducing carbon footprint over, overall. Tell us about uh, the work going on there. Right, it's a very important problem to solve because, um, you know, by 2050, there's going to be 50% increase in demand for energy, right? 
And of course, the trend now is to go towards renewable energy, such as wind energy uh, and uh, solar energy. However, these energy sources are intermittent. So the question here is, how do you actually store them so that you, know, you can let renewable energy flourish? We do believe that, once again, artificial intelligence could mine a lot of data that already exists about materials uh, in order to help us develop better materials. Also, quantum computing by itself is, nature by itself is quantum mechanical, right? And a lot of these chemical processes are quantum mechanical. So we believe that quantum computers could actually help us understand better these chemical processes and create better type of um, reactions and better type of materials uh, for, for batteries and energy storage. Is there a place where people can go to get more information? Yes, there is. People could go to research.ibm.com, and there's a lot of information and more, much more details about the predictions. Terrific. Again, it's research.ibm.com. Dr. Solomon Asefa, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio, and that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers. And that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions, too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC SkyWave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.